What can I say about him? This man, almost 10 years ago, came to a DCW show and said, hey, I love wrestling. I'd love to be a wrestler, but I'm too old for that. My body's too beat up for that. And when he spoke to the DCW offices about our training facility run by the great Mark Harrow, they said, come on out, come on out to the school and try out. He went out there expecting to be maybe a referee, maybe a manager. He wanted to live his dream. And after speaking to Mark Harrow, Mark came to the DCW offices and Mark said that this guy's dream is to be a wrestler, not to be a manager, not to be anything else. So he started doing everything that the youngest, fastest kids were doing in the wrestling school at the time, and he kept up. And he eventually debuted in DCW in Farmington, Delaware, and he debuted in a championship match for the now defunct Future Shock Championship. And when he won the title, he picked it up, and he said that the belt symbolized the young upstarts of professional wrestling. And he threw it in a garbage can. And that was the moment that we knew that this man was dirty. <laughs> Over the next few years, he won the DCW Tag Team Championships with Mozart Fontaine. He won the Tag Team Championships with Mark the Dragonfly Harlem. He left DCW to pursue other companies and held gold and all of those other companies also. A few months ago, he came back in front of all of you and told you about a debilitating neck injury that is forcing him to hang up the boots. After he did what everybody said could not be done, he came back one more time. Last month, at the 2019 Rumble for Glory, Dirty Sonny Deeds wrestled his final match, not just in DCW, in professional wrestling altogether, against one of his former students, the DCW champion, Robbie Radke. Dirty Sonny Deeds left it all in the ring that night, and he left it proving that beyond an injury, he could still go. If there was no neck injury, Dirty Sunny Deeds would be competing here tonight, perhaps as DCW champion. But we have one better. We're here tonight, myself and all of you, to announce that Dirty Sunny Deeds is going into the 2019 DCW Hall of Fame. Wow. Just want to say that uh, just a little tidbit of information. Zach covered a lot of things, but like you said, it was in this very building that I watched my uh, very first DCW. Good Lord. <laughs> Where I watched my ver very first DCW show. And uh, I tell you, it's been an awesome ride. Um, got to do a lot of things, got to wrestle a lot of. Gentlemen that I watched growing up on television, as well as some guys that are, are still doing it on television today. Um, had a feud with quite a few guys. <laughs> and um, it's just, just, just been an amazing, amazing experience. One thing that I want to say is, like Zach was saying, when I stepped in to start training, I was 37 years old. And everybody, you know, all the messages these days are for the kids to go out and chase your dreams. And uh, I'm here to say that you're never too old uh, to chase your dreams. If you want it bad enough, you can still do it. Hell, I, this old man did it. I want to thank uh, some people. I um, want to thank the management and owners of DCW. I want to thank uh, Zach the Ripper Connor. I want to thank my family who supported me through every show. And um, no matter if I was being cheered or being booed, they were well participating in everything with the crowd. And uh, my daughter, 
no matter how mean and nasty I was being in the ring, when I would look down at her at the front row, she would be smiling or laughing, and I'd have to quickly turn my head because I'd want to laugh or smile too. So thank you for that. But um, I just want to say, guys, it's been an amazing, amazing ride. Thank you so, so much to DCW, but thank you to all the fans. I was asked when I first started training, um, walking around like I was 195 years old, my back hurting and could barely walk, my hips hurting and everything, and I had someone ask me, Sonny, is it worth it? Is it worth putting your body through all that? And my response to them was, when you hear the response from the crowd, yes, yes it is. It's the cheers, it's the boos, it's the screaming and everything that you guys do that fuels us and everybody in the back to do what we do here in this ring for you. If it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be us. So I want to thank each and every one of you. I think I'm about finished, Zach. Thank you so much. You want to come take the microphone and uh, we can keep this thing rolling. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.